Also got a special request to do the Asus Zenfone 9 versus the Galaxy Note 10 Plus full speed test and I'll show you guys some side by side stills but we're just going to be focusing on speed and RAM management here and um, you can see the Zenfone has the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus chip and this has the Snapdragon 855. Now what a lot of people are always shocked uh, about is that it keeps up with speed even with the newest chipsets even though you'll see a higher Geekbench score on the Zenfone in terms of smoothness and performance, I, I tell people this all the time. Your older flagship phone is meant to last, guys. So phones like the Snapdragon 855 chip that came out years ago can still compete, even though it crushes it in the benchmark scores. It still competes in a lot of your daily activities and also surprisingly gaming performance as well, too. Both these phones are running Android 12. Let's go ahead and just um, hop in here. Let's make sure we got nothing open. And we'll go hit Subway Surf here. And you guys will see this difference here. It's not a super massive one. You can see boom, we're in, and then boom, we're in on the note. So we saw a little bit of a difference there. Maybe, I'll say maybe a second difference. Maybe maybe a, a second and a half. YouTube looked like the note actually got in there first. So you guys can see people are always there. Because the way they market this stuff with the new chips, and Apple does a really good job of it too, um, they make it seem like the chips are so much faster and your experience is going to be so much faster. Uh, in reality, you can see this older chipset is just it's just so much uh, so much on par with the even the newest chipset. Now, one thing you'll notice is that if your older flagship doesn't support 120 hertz like the Note, 60 hertz feels smooth, but nowhere near as smooth as 120 hertz. But it's still pretty smooth. Core Earth. So you can see the Snapdragon 855 just able to keep up. Now I will notice when you're launching games, that's really when you see that that second or two difference there. But casual applications, uh, you can see just goes like right in there. And again, we can see with this game, Temper Run, is really not too far behind. So people that are you know you know if you're thinking about upgrading just for speed, because like, I want a new chip. You might want to reconsider because it's not going to be that big of a difference, guys. And I'll show you, even with gaming performance, if you are just a casual gamer, I'm not talking about like a hardcore gamer. If you're a hardcore gamer, you will notice that you'll get less FPS drops on a newer chip. But if you're a casual gamer, like playing PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, I still wouldn't recommend upgrading for that. Because it, the, these older chips, um, they're, they're just so good. Now you guys see why... I sort of focus on older flagships on this channel a lot because I think they're just a great value. You see, more casual applications, these are just instant. So they're pretty much on par. Let's do PUBG. It's a little heavier. So for games like PUBG, now with these newer chipsets and the, the better high refresh rates, some games, like we saw in Subway Surfer, I believe Subway Surfer supports the high frame rate. Um, but some games like you know PUBG, this can support the 90 frames, even though this is not compatible with it. Um, it can support that 90 frames, but um, it doesn't. And these both actually play at the same graphic settings, uh, surprisingly. So I'll show you guys. You can play HDR Extreme on here. And then with the note, you can also. I hate how many pop ups are in PUBG. Um, you can also play at these same exact settings. So the only difference, you would see that 90 frames, but this phone doesn't have the. It's not capable of doing it. Let's go ahead and get into PUBG match. Yeah, guys, so if you're thinking about updating for, you know, for speed and gaming performance, I, I, I would say it is totally dependent on how much of a gamer you are because the A55 chip still does an amazing job. You can see super smooth on here, but also still super smooth on the Galaxy Note as well, too. Is this on? What is this on? Yeah, it's your extreme. Also, just very buttery smooth uh, on here too, and you see 
sometimes on the note you can get like a little drop and I've noticed those drops so much less like yeah you can even get drops on the newer phones with the newer chipsets but I feel like you'll notice them less right like you get that occasional like little stutter even though this is playing extremely well so also Let's see the difference between a phone with 8 gigs of RAM versus 12 gigs of RAM. See what kind of RAM management we got going on here. Still open on both. YouTube still open. Oh, we got a refresh on the Zen phone. This does have, like I said, the Note has 12 gigs of RAM though. So it shouldn't, yeah, we got to refresh again. So I, I really love, and sometimes I think Samsung uh, software just does a really good job uh, with, um, I think it does a really good job with RAM management itself because even other phones with 12 gigs of RAM, um, you know, whatever, however Samsung tweaks it, I think they just, they do a great job because my Pixel doesn't even keep applications that's open and that has 12 gigs of RAM. Yeah, so this just, it seemed like I just opened the, um, once you open PUBG, it's a wrap for 8 gigs of RAM. If I didn't open PUBG, all these applications would be open still. Okay, we got a refresh now on the Note. Yeah, I think that was one refresh on the Note. So, pretty crazy. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the side-by-side -side cameras um, as well too. And you guys can check that out. Now, the specs on the cameras, the Zenfone does have a dual camera setup it's a 50 megapixel standard 12 megapixel ultra wide it shoots in 8k 24 and then you also have a 12 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4k 30 and then on the note you actually have a technically a quad camera setup it's a 12 megapixel standard 12 megapixel telephoto 2x optical which the zen phone lacks any telephoto and then you have a 16 megapixel ultra wide 4k 60 um, and then you also have a 10 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4K 60.